today we embrace a leadership position on the most fundamental of rights, equality. It was a shockingly tone-deaf response to a shocking report. This is an historic and proud day for the Collingwood Football Club. Instead of apologising after the damning Do Better review was made public, which detailed a culture of systemic racism at the Collingwood Football Club, longtime president Eddie Maguire did exactly what the report criticised the club for. He went into damage control and tried to protect the brand by calling it a proud day for the club. So I am extremely proud. I've been here for a long time and we've done a lot of great things. And this is great. I thought it was a shameful response. And I thought it was uh, it was one that lacked accountability. Not quite. Blair Collingwood back in front. The Do Better review, commissioned by Collingwood, criticised the club for reacting to media coverage about racist incidents, but then ignoring complaints made within the club. What is clear is that racism at the club resulted in profound and enduring harm to First Nations and African players. The racism affected them, their communities, and set dangerous norms for the public. The Collingwood Football Club does not accept the reality of the way in which the club has created an environment that has caused serious harm to individuals, to families and to communities. He's 50 out. It's a beautiful kick. The review was sparked after former player Heritia Lumumba claimed he faced constant abuse during his 10 years playing for Collingwood, including being called a chimp. He told Lee Sales on the ABC 730 program how the club responded when he complained about the racism. I became the problem. I was the one who uh, was painted as being the, the individual with the issues rather than the club taking ownership and accountability for what the report now reveals. Incredibly, Maguire also said this. So there was not systemic racism as such. We're not a mean-spirited club. We're not a racist club. When he spoke about, we're not a racist club, that is an indicator to me that, yes, you are a racist club because anyone that values anti-racism knows exactly that that's not the type of language that you use when you're truly and you, and you have been dedicated truly to the journey of what is needed to do to eradicate the prejudices. Collingwood supporters have never been the most gracious in defeat and they did little to improve their reputation. Collingwood has a shameful history of racism. <laughs> Nicky Winmar broke from his normal coolness to hit back at the Magpie Army who threw everything at him, mostly racial abuse. It was club fans who racially abused Nicky Winmar in 1993. A week later, the club president said this. As long as they conduct themselves like white people, well, off the field, everybody will admire them and respect them. In 1995, Michael Long was racially abused by a Collingwood player, prompting the AFL to introduce rules banning racial vilification. From 2005, Lumumba was nicknamed Chimp by his teammates. In 2012, Gold Coast Suns player Joel Wilkinson was vilified by a Collingwood player and would later go on to sue the AFL. I have suffered extreme racism during my time in the AFL. And in 2013, on his radio program, Eddie Maguire made fun of Adam Goods after a 13-year-old Collingwood supporter called him an ape. What a great promo that is for, for King Kong. Get Adam Goods down for it, do you reckon? No, I no? thought so. Or you, absolutely <laughs> no. <laughs> what you, you can see them doing it, can't you? What's happened on my watch is this. We have built a fantastic club. Following his disastrous press conference, there were widespread calls for Maguire to step down. I think somebody's got to be accountable. I think Eddie should go now and put in somebody to clean it up. He's had 22 years. But he's refusing to leave before the end of the upcoming season. Instead, he said he regretted his comments about the Do Better report. I got it wrong. I said it was a proud day for Collingwood and I shouldn't have. By the end of the week, the players of Collingwood did what the club president failed to do. They apologised. As athletes, we are sorry to anyone who, through their association with our club, has been marginalised, hurt or discriminated against due to their race. Through our silence, we feel responsible for these injustices.
We acknowledge it is not enough to simply show support for principles of anti-racism and inclusion. We will confront the history of our club in order to learn, heal and determine how best to walk forward together. The club's Integrity Committee member, Jody Sizer, says the board is committed to implementing all 18 recommendations made in the review. There is 100% commitment to doing better.